Yo, 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 how are you beautiful people on my channel doing here today? Today what I've got you guys is a bit of a weird gameplay to be honest because I didn't really want to post this at first due to the fact that it's a 99 kill streak and I didn't die one of 100 kill streak. It's just the game ended and I was putting bullets into the guy and I only needed one more bullet to put in him and then the game ended. So that was pretty disappointing. But anyways, I wanted to post it today because it is kind of unique, kind of, kind of unique in its own way. The fact that I got a 99 kill streak without using streaker, which is obviously the wild card that allows you to use four score streaks in total rather than the three that you're allowed to already put on your creator class and that helps people get 100 pluses and maybe might help me get a 100 kill streak next time i mean god's sakes guys i nearly got this i got one off and if i had the warbird in the air because i wasn't actually using that which makes the gameplay unique as well i probably would have got it because when i'm running around the map trying to get these enemies that warbird could have been clearing them out and spawning them even nearer near me so i don't even know why i said that nearer near me that's a, yeah that's a good sentence machine good sentence but anyways i hope you all enjoy the gameplay in the background for today's video and it actually kind of links to what i want to talk about in today's video as well but before i get into that i first of all want to give a massive thank you to all of you who came over from Nero Cinema's channel. Not only just a lot of you already have, but all of you who will come over in the future. And if you happen to watch this video, then hi, yeah, I'm a kid on the internet who likes to make gameplay commentaries and discuss things about the new Call of Duty like everyone else does, pretty much on the internet anyways. And I obviously want to give great thanks to the man himself for featuring me on his series called DNA Saturday that a lot of you guys are probably aware by now that I get featured on quite frequently. Thank you so much, man. Not only the things you do for me, but the things you do for my friends as well when you feature them. And not only just my friends, but smaller YouTubers in general. I think generally what you're doing with your channel is absolutely great for us and I just can't be thankful more enough for everyone else and speaking for myself too. Now that all the mentions are out of the way for today's video I really want to get straight into what I want to be talking about today and it's generally about gameplays overall and how you guys can obtain them easier and not only that but a specific factor in advanced warfare especially that might help obtaining gameplays for you guys even easier so by now if you know the new royalty variants I'm pretty sure everybody knows about the new royalty variants and I'm pretty sure you guys are all aware that these royalty variants are just a reskinned version of a pre-made elite gun in the game there's two elite variants variants for each gun and it's a reskinned one with just a purple royalty camo like the normal royalty camo but just purple and I'm pretty sure you guys already know that anyways but anyways there are some different factors about those royalty guns to the actual elite guns for example in this gameplay the speakeasy when I'm aiming down the site you will see two little screws to the side when I'm aiming down the site and that makes the focus when you're actually looking at your enemies a tad bit harder to see so the royalty variant of the ASM1 is probably better to use because it looks more like the magnitude when you aim down the site and you're probably asking yourself right now guys why do these factors matter they really small differences between the two guns it's not like there's any stat increase and decrease differences between these two guns they're just reskinned versions of each other and I'm here to answer your question right now by saying that might have made the difference between my 99 kill streak and that 100 kill streak and I sadly didn't get that 100 kill streak because maybe I wasn't using the better reskinned elite variant shit nah I'm kidding with you guys I couldn't have got that 100 kill streak anyways because not only the fact that my class was so poorly optimized without the warbird and the streak of wild card that I sadly mentioned that I didn't have on earlier but as well I joined the game 50 seconds late and honestly those amount of seconds can actually make a difference between a milestone and then yeah two digit number like my 99 kill streak Nice one. And leading back to the point earlier that I was trying to make where I said about the sight difference between the ASM1 Speakeasy and the ASM1 Royalty variant, even though they are reskin variants of each other, small factors actually do change things. Because, like, for example, I mentioned there, the small time difference honestly made a difference between me getting that 100 kill streak and that 99 kill streak that I keep mentioning. And it keeps haunting me every time I mention it, so I really do need to get that 100 kill streak. And as well as time factors within gameplay performance, it doesn't just depend on when you join the game, but it might be those split seconds where you need to make a decision and it could speed up the whole process of the game gameplay and you'll see a lot of times in this gameplay I do make right decisions and I don't think without those right decisions that I made as well as I got really lucky I wouldn't have got the gameplay that I actually got here today and because of the fact we all play Call of Duty subconsciously it's not like something we generally strain our brain to actually try and perform and put into place when we actually want to move somewhere or kill someone it just generally happens and it's just generally out of human reaction and because we all play subconsciously and we don't really pick up on minor factors within the game well some of us do like me with the ASM1 royalty site and the ASM1 speakeasy site being slightly different those factors are actually do matter because imagine how much they will affect your reaction without you consciously thinking about it like if you think about breathing right now I bet you start manually breathing but before you started manually breathing you were just doing it automatically subconsciously so I'm sorry if I kind of screwed over your breathing process I guess but that's just one example of it and that kind of applies in Call of Duty as well when it actually comes to performing a good gameplay and good gameplay performance isn't always about thinking about the entirety of the thing you're gonna do within the game like oh I'm gonna go to this flag I'm gonna trap 
these enemies exactly here. I'm going to pinpoint my way around the map and I'm going to make a plan of it. It just doesn't work like that. It's just too random. It's just too unpredictable. You're facing different enemies every time. Obviously, I'm stating the obvious here. And you never exactly know for sure how good or bad you might do within a game for exact because there's always game-changing factors. And if you know these game-changing factors that might change your game up a little bit more and improve it by a small percentage, then you might get the higher end of the scale upon your enemy. And I just thought I'd mention this today because look at the gameplay. 99-0. I think I did a pretty good job here today, guys. So I thought I'd make it a little bit more in-depth for you. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And it's kind of a bit of a tip video, but I just generally wanted to get a few things off my chest about things you don't notice within a Call of Duty that might make you do good. And at the same time of addressing those points, the things that we should really be picking up on. So thank you so much for stopping by the channel today, guys. And thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And just generally all the support recently and you ever given. Because honestly, it's all really appreciated and I can't wait to reply to you all in the comment section. Thank you all so much for watching. Slap a like on today's video if you enjoyed and a favourite if you loved it. And what timing to end off the video right here, guys. Because I get a really clutchy kill right there with the ASM1 where I need to reload. And then I go around the corner and sadly, it doesn't work out too well for me. But hopefully, you can put Pray for Machine in the comments so that I'll get this 100kd gameplay or this 100 kill streak. Like I said before, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace out.